Aquaculture is becoming an increasingly important global food source. And with this growth comes urgent, unanswered questions about the interactions of aquaculture operations, both positive and negative, with our ecosystems. At the Nature Conservancy, we are focusing on addressing many of these important questions by bringing together scientists and industry in Tomales Bay, California, right in San Francisco's backyard, to monitor one particular ecosystem, eelgrass. Eelgrass is important in estuary ecosystems because it is a habitat forming species, so it's home for a lot of invertebrates and fish. It's a nursery habitat for juvenile stages of fish, including some commercially important fish species. The existing paradigm is that aquaculture activities are harmful to seagrasses. However, our partners at Hog Island Oyster Company have observed that in some instances, the eelgrass that's adjacent to their aquaculture gear will expand into their leases and grow in and around their gear. We've been farming shellfish in this location, Tomales Bay, for just about 35 years. And I'm a big believer in that this is one of the most sustainable ways to, to grow animal protein or seafood. The prime areas for doing that are all in these nearshore environments, which is where these resources like eelgrass are. Being in a business where you're trying to understand impacts, this is what we're about. And trying to understand that using science is really an important part of this. We've seen changes out here. And let's say over the past 30 years, We've seen the growth and the, the expansion of the eelgrass beds. We have buffer areas that all of a sudden the eelgrass has moved in. We have questions that we have that need to be answered over time. What are our impacts? What are the benefits and the negative effects? To have a tool developed that is cost effective enough that growers in general can use would be hugely beneficial because there's uncertainty around some of these environmental interactions and I want to understand this system and understand our effects, negative, positive. This is such a great study because it's going to help us answer some of these questions, hopefully not just in Tomas Bay, but in bays all around this country. To answer these questions, our team is launching drones directly over Hog Island Oyster Company's shellfish farming operations to monitor the growth of eelgrass over time. If proven to be effective, we can put this monitoring tool in the hands of farmers, allowing the aquaculture industry to contribute valuable, consistent information about eelgrass ecosystems and impacts of their aquaculture operations. The researchers at UC Santa Cruz are providing the detailed ground truth information about where the eelgrass is, and then we can use that to find out what we're seeing on our images. This project being that we we're covering a little bit larger area and having it go on for multiple years can start to answer some of the questions or the trends that I think that we've seen anecdotally over the years. In talking to the Nature Conservancy, there was a real understanding that that was important and they really leaned in on this to help us develop a study, find academic partners who could look at this issue in that realm and hopefully develop a tool that will help answer some questions. The thing is, is we are the best partners to get this data because we're out there all the time anyhow. And we should know and want to know about what's going on in our fields, if you will. So to me, this is what's really exciting about this project. The need for this type of research to fill gaps in our knowledge about eelgrass aquaculture interactions has never been more urgent. Collaborative projects that unite industry, scientists, and new technologies have the potential to help promote healthy ecosystems and change the way we supply sustainable seafood from aquaculture.